To be a modern wildfowler, you don't just have to be a good shot and like wallowing around in the mud and bad weather. You also have to be a conservationist, a PR consultant, and an expert in alternatives to lead ammunition. I'm with the Walney Island wildfowlers to see how they cope with everything from dog walkers to defra. Walney Island is off the end of the Barrow in Furness Peninsula, southwest of the English Lake District. The wildfowling takes place on one large island and several smaller islands, including Peel Island, scene of the last seaborne invasion of England when Lambert Simnel landed 2,000 mercenaries here in 1487. They were later walloped in the Battle of Stoke by King Henry VII. The wildfowlers here don't only have to deal with history. There are conservation groups, the submarine building industry, European imposed sanctuary areas, ramblers and motorists who can drive across the sands to reach the islands, though not all of them make it. All of these interest groups mean that the landscape here has changed a lot within living memory. Some of the ground has been turned into a hill by landfill, for example. This has had an effect on the birds. Stephen Duggy's big interest is bird conservation. I think that's one of the strengths about the things that we do, we're flexible. We've got the manpower on the ground, which, you know, if you talk to a lot of conservation bodies, then they don't have the manpower on the ground covering a large area. It's more to do with um, honey pots where, you know, they can get tourists in, they can get the paying public through the door to come in and look at the wildfowl, whereas, you know, we're in the, the dirty end of it, as you, you know, we're digging ditches and, and dealing with the... Uh, uh, birds that, during the breeding season and looking after the um, uh, fox control, Covid control, those sorts of things and and it, it, it makes a big difference. Stephen Duggy didn't even touch on lead ammunition. Wildfowlers are in the forefront of the political battle over lead shot, which was banned for use on wildfowl in England under the last government. Current government thinking is against further restrictions on cartridges but anti-shooting groups are working hard to change their minds. Walney Island remains a charming, small wildfowling club that navigates its own tricky channel between conservation groups, corporations and mandates handed down from Cameron's coalition. This is where the Countryside Alliance can help. We lobby all the groups regularly. For more information, visit www.countryside-alliance.org.uk.